determined to prove that there is nothing sexist about analyzing faces and bodies. That's why today we're gonna go through the seven style essences and face types for men. There are seven face types based on this idea of yin to yang or soft to sharp balance. This exists in both men and women because it's an idea that's based in nature, which obviously all of us are a part of. Today we're going to go through the facial features and style equivalents of each type and hopefully you will see yourself or maybe a boyfriend, father or uncle in these types. My name is Ellie Jean, I'm a personal stylist and on this channel we use body types to level up our personal style and end the war with our wardrobes. And before we go forward I would like to offer a small apology as it is very, very likely that you are at points in this video going to hear a cockerel in the background. I live in the countryside and my chickens have been scrapping and this is the result so I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> First essence is dramatic essence. This is the type which is the most yang. So on the yin to yang spectrum, it is right on the end of yang. And what this means is it's the most sharp, narrow, long, hard, dark type. Dramatic essence is defined by danger, wildness, being bold, theatrical, extravagant, intense, dignified. As I just said, Dramatic faces tend to be elongated and are hard as defined by like high and dominant cheekbones. They tend to have a long face, sharp jawlines, a long and sharp nose, slightly narrow eyes, narrow lips. You're unlikely to have all of these, but if you have three or more, you probably have this essence. There aren't very many of us who are one of these essences completely. For example, I fall into ethereal essence, but I'm not as ethereal as say, Kate Blanchett. Dramatics look best in sharp, tailored clothes, in bold, extravagant, theatrical styles. They look good in unconventional or unusual patterns. They look good in asymmetry or straight lines. They look good in unusual textures and dangerous styles like leather, for example. Natural essence is what we think of as rugged. You could imagine this man chopping a tree down or a hacking a block of wood ready for a fire. That is, that is natural essence. So natural essence is relaxed, earthy, sporty, active, wild, natural. No oh, wait, it's called natural. <laughs> they kind of seem easygoing and approachable. This essence is also yang dominant, but instead of elongated, sharp, harsh features, they tend to be more blunt and wide. So whereas you might see men with dramatic essence as the villain in a movie, this is really common, natural essence tends to be men who are the hero of the film. Although this is a simplification and not always the case. They look best in simple, comfortable, relaxed clothes. They tend to look formal in the most casual and simple styles. Whereas if you put them in a suit, they tend to look quite constrained and like they just don't quite belong there. Like if you look at Channing Tatum in a suit, he just looks like he's gonna like burst out of it. He just doesn't look quite right in it because he's so broad. And that is very much natural essence. Whereas he looks much more harmonious in jeans and a t-shirt and it doesn't even look casual or sloppy on him it just looks like it belongs there so they can look good in loose fitting sturdy oversized sort of styles or anything with unstructured shapes layering or denim gamine is our next yang dominant essence these men look quite youthful but not as youthful as ingenue which we're coming on to in a minute they have a certain boyishness and they seem sort of playful fun they're like a dramatic in some ways but they have this sort of youthful undercurrent to them so you could describe them as playful quirky 
rebellious, whimsical, and they tend to have sharp or angular features with some youthful elements, like they might have slightly large and soft eyes, or a slightly wide and soft nose, or slightly rounded cheekbones, but a sharp jaw and narrow eyes. So they, they have a bit of a combination of each. And so they look really good when you're poking fun at fashion. They look good in mix and match or retro styles. They look good in bold colors or unusual patterns. High contrast, quite cool in rolled up jeans or hoodies like teenagers would wear. They look good in lots of detail in compact styles and maybe some whimsical elements as well. Classic Essence is neither yang nor yin dominant. These are the men who are in the middle and they're not particularly soft and their f features aren't particularly sharp either. So they're slap bang in the middle. You could describe them as looking clean or timeless, elegant looking, sophisticated, formal or conservative. They have very timeless and neutral features and all of this applies to their style as well. They have no facial features which you could caricature. Everything is just very in the middle. And I think John Hamm is a good example of this. Their faces aren't particularly sharp, they're not particularly short. They're just in the middle. Ingenue or youthful essence is our first yin dominant essence and these men tend to have baby-like faces. You could describe them as sweet looking or innocent, gentle, delicate, adorable even. And remember if someone describes you as youthful, this is nothing against your masculinity. A lot of Hollywood heartthrobs are ingenues, including Leonardo DiCaprio. So definitely wouldn't take this as an insult if you find yourself or someone you know relating you to these qualities. So these men might have small or slightly wide noses. They might have round eyes, round cheekbones. They might have plump but smallish lips. They might have rounded and shorter faces than other men. And they look best in delicate and small details. So they look really good in sort of whimsical styles, in anything vintage, in pastel or pale colors, in decorative styles like small floral prints or things that hark back to another era. They look really good in ornate, intricate sort of things. And of course with soft, delicate fabrics. And these men look much better in a bow tie than in a long tie um, because this mimics their short rounded facial features. Romantic essence was the one that I found hardest to get my head around for men, but I feel like I've got it now. <laughs> Romantic essence is defined by sensuality of being alluring and lush and romantic. These men tend to have soft, rounded facial features. They might have smoldering eyes, lush lips, slightly narrow jaws, and they might have round cheeks or a slightly wide nose. Possibly, well, often they have dark hair and high contrast. So you can see a connection to dramatic faces there, except instead of being elongated, they're quite short. So I think there's something that connects these two types together, even though they're at opposite ends of the spectrum. They look really good in soft and lush fabrics like velvet. So they'd look best in like velvet blazer over a different type. Again, these look best with bow ties over long ties. They look, might look good with some things a little undone, looser fabrics, softer fabrics, in red or lush colors, in large rounded patterns, jewels or jewel tones. Th there's not a lot of information out there for male essences. It's not written down in the same way that it is for women. Um, so I'm having to come up with a lot of this by myself. And it's very hard to apply the things that we say to women about who have romantic essence to things with men because they're not going to look as good in clinging form-fitting styles. It's the, the stuff that applies to women doesn't necessarily apply to men here. So this is one that I'm working on. Lastly, we have ethereal or angelic essence. Ethereal is a meeting point between yin and yang. So a meeting point between soft and sharp. You could define ethereal essence as pure, wise, timeless, otherworldly, ageless looking. They look like they have an old soul and there's an element of the uncanny at play. They look celestial and these men tend to be found in like fantasy, fantasy roles. They have elongated faces, some sharp facial features like high cheekbones or high foreheads, but they'll have rounded or slightly wide set eyes. They'll have some soft features like maybe soft lips. So there's elements of both, but in the sense that they appear kind of ageless 
rather than gumin, which also has elements of yin and yang, instead of them being so contrasted and giving this playful, rebellious appearance, it gives this sense of being from another world, of being timeless. So these people look really good in metallics, in soft, lightweight, fluttery fabrics, vintage or period pieces with some like fantastical, ornate, intricate elements into their accessories if you were to wear any. Obviously, it could be very easy as a man to look like a caricature if you did all of these things. So you might just want like a couple of hints of it, like wearing gray instead of black, or you could grow your hair slightly longer or something like that, and, and it wouldn't look so bizarre on you. So those are the seven style essences. If you've enjoyed this video so far, I really think you'll enjoy my playlist on essences where I analyze facial features. And if you want a consultation from me. I don't yet offer these for men, but if I think that there is interest in that, this is something that I would be willing to figure out. So if this is something you would like from me, make sure to head to bodyandstyle.com and I will make sure to do you an, an analysis. And if you're a woman watching this, of course, those are available to you as well. So make sure to go and check that out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.